I'm thinking about it right now because, you know, I got my new notebook for taking notes during reactions and I'm really excited about it. But I'm like, I rarely have any notes taken down for the my other notebook for Toradora because outside of our five characters names, there's really not much that needs to be remembered besides like little things for this particular episode. But it's just like, I don't really need notes for this show. I'm gonna keep my notebook here just in case I do decide to take notes but I mean I kind of agree with myself and that like it, as a show that tells like little anecdotal stories that is concise and there's the story right there I really don't need to remember all that much because I pretty much remember all of it that happens because it's so wild and out there you know so with that being said we're on Toradora I don't even know what episode we're on we are on episode 11 called the Ohashi High School Cultural Festival 1 and the next one is, oh my God, we have a few episodes with the School Culture Festival. Okay, so this is about to be crazy. Remember guys, if you guys, with certain shows like Toradora, the reaction cannot be put on YouTube, it will get taken down. So make sure to click that link in the description for the reaction, come back here for the review. I would appreciate you. And if you guys want early access and or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, consider supporting me on Patreon. That link is in the description. If Patreon's not really your thing and you still wanna support, leaving a like and a nice comment really does mean a lot you guys really don't know and then also follow me on twitch and on twitter i appreciate y'all let's hop into this toradora episode 11 the oh the ohashi high school culture festival one ah uh, you know it's 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 tough because not everyone's familial relationships are the same or even remotely similar. But then again, you look at something you don't have and somebody else has the opportunity, yet they don't wanna take it. And you're like, man, I wish I had that opportunity. I instantly think of Stranger Things for myself. No no spoilers for Stranger Things, of course, but there's very something very similar to this where a character has lost someone and they know someone else who's actively losing someone and they're not, and they're trying to push them towards saving that relationship and saying that I would do anything if I had the chance to see this person again or do something like that again and you know you have that chance so it's like i get 100 percent where ryuji is coming from of course because he no matter how hard he asks no matter how hard he begs who we who we ask who he begs his father is never coming back and for her to just not even give her father a chance whereas he would want a chance with his father more than anything i can understand why he'd be frustrated why he'd be frustrated and lash out obviously that makes so much sense but also, he kept forcing himself to tell that to himself. Like, this is for the best. This is what's for the best. Right? Like, it is, right? Like, you don't really know that. And, and everyone's family relationships and dynamics are different. Like, honestly, deep down, Tyga, I mean, we don't really know her father. We met him at one bagel cafe. And, you know, he seems like a cool cool guy. But if he's willing to, to choose a, a younger, newly met wife that he you know just got with versus his daughter you know like there has to be something there and it's just it's just complicated it's difficult like i said this this show is funny but it touches on a it's slice of life so it touches on a lot of a real life situation and this happens to be one of them you know like me personally i've had a stepfather since i was about the age of seven or eight somewhere around there who's been with me ever since but before that i've i you know i've never met my real father I'm kind of like Ryuji in that sense, you know? So I, I get where they're coming from, to be honest. I understand completely. It's just very complicated and, and it's it's very realistic. With that being said, I'm going to hop into this next episode. This was fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. I appreciate you. Check out that Patreon down below. I'll see you in this next one. Peace out, Dapper Squad.